Welcome back to Hammer Fab. Well, not really Hammer Fab. It's boat time here. This is fun time. We're uh, standing down the bottom of my Chris Craft boat, 57 Chris Craft. We're just about done sealing up the bottom with some epoxy. And then uh, we're gonna block sand it down, get it as flat as we can in preparation for some aluminum lamination on the bottom. So it's, uh, it's a dirty job. It's a lot of work. But it's a beautiful day and somebody's got to do it, so let's do it. high spot right here next to this hole so just trying to feather it out over to this one this epoxy it's tough it's real tough so it's looking good to through, which is good though because you know it'll stand the test of time especially once you uh, put that nice looking hot rod metal over the top of it We got the full hole completely epoxied with some uh, Marine Tex epoxy. That's some good stuff right there, man. So this is almost dry. We're gonna block sand this down here pretty soon once it dries, but me and Eric have been working on the back here, block sanding all this down, getting some of the lumps out of the wood and prepping it for applying some aluminum sheets on here. Now that may sound crazy to some of these guys, especially wood, wood boat purists. But we're not purists around here. We're hot rodders and we're resto modders. And we're gonna make a resto mod Chris Craft boat. We're taking an alternate route on that and we're gonna laminate some, let's see how thick was it? Uh, 90 thousandths thick, which is pretty thick. 50, 52 aluminum, I think it's 50, 52. Uh, aluminum sheets on the bottom of this boat and we're going to use some uh, West Systems epoxy to bond the aluminum to the epoxied bottom of the wood here. Usually what they do is they paint the bottom of the boat so the boat would be finished wood you know mahogany or whatever it is on this end and then the bottom would be painted like a green or a red or a whatever for like a two-tone effect and then what they would do is put a white band here to separate the color from the wood. Well, I kind of like that, but it becomes a problem when you laminate aluminum all the way to the hull because originally the water line goes like this and it originally it jumps over and crosses over this, this uh, rib here and goes like this. And so originally this, this would be wood color and this would be paint color. Well, if you run aluminum all the way, you don't want to leave an edge where the aluminum is because water could get under it and, and peel the, delaminate the aluminum maybe. So we're going to run aluminum all the way to here. And then we're also going to do kind of an aluminum bullnose here that's kind of fancy and protects the front of the, the hole. And then basically it's going to kind of almost come up to where the paint would have crossed over right here. And it's going to blend in the bullnose into another aluminum uh, kind of flashing that will get bonded to the side of the boat here and what it will do when it comes back here it will seal all of these cracks that may potentially be in the water a lot okay so right now these are kind of a, a leaking hazard um, so we're gonna take this metal strip off bond a strip across the back we'll finish the back of the you know nicely here into wood and then we'll bond that strip all the way to the front 
and then we'll make new corner pieces here that are bright work. What happened? What, what, you're not using that right, you know that, right? I broke your tool. What? This is what happens when you hand an American man a Chinese tool. What? China? China, bro. <laughs> now I gotta use it like a real American. <laughs> hands on power. <laughs> Actually, I think it works way better now. Yeah? Really. My, the one I'm using works better that way. Yeah. I should have started this way two hours ago. I'd probably be done by now. You have arms like Popeye when you're done, but yeah. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> that's good enough for day two of sanding on the bottom of the Chris Craft. That's a lot of hard work right there, man. So it's got some wood showing through. It's got some orange primer or something showing through. And it's got some, you know, kind of looks blotchy right now. It's not real smooth looking, but it actually, it's getting pretty smooth. We've been blocking it with uh, a long block. And so we're getting it nice and straight so that some aluminum will lay down on there pretty nice. Yeah, both sides look pretty smooth. Now the next step is, uh, before we put these pieces of aluminum on, we're gonna put this back panel on first. So this back panel has to go on first because it's gonna be like an L channel like this and it's basically gonna go right on there and we're gonna dig this down the 90 thousandths thickness of the metal so that it the metal becomes flush with this. So this one will go on there and glue and seal, you know, bond it on the back and seal this whole corner off real nice. And then once that's flush, then we'll pattern these and make those, those will overhang this one like this. So it'll be like no way, absolutely no way that water could ever get in there when it's all bonded with epoxy and stuff. So, Kind of looking forward to that. We, we're, we're past the hard part. We just got a little bit of sanding left and then we can uh, move on to some fun stuff like sanding the, the mahogany and finishing off that stuff and then doing the aluminum flashing and aluminum on the bottom. So I'm looking forward to that. That's the plan.